So without further ado, let's do some quick introductions. First, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Dan. Um, I'm uh, part of BizHack, and we uh, use AI-powered tools to offer part-time head of marketing into businesses. I spent 15 years in journalism at NPR, PBS, The Washington Post. I was a podcast pioneer created under the sun. I've headed marketing for billion dollar companies and software startups. I'm a proud member of EO South Florida, proud alumni of Goldman Sachs 10 KSB, as well as of Princeton and got my master's degree at Florida International University. I wanted to share with you a little bit more about my background. My grandfathers are great inspirations to me. On the left, you'll see Grandpa Satur from Spain, my father's father. He was a coach in La Liga. And on the right, you'll see Henry Marcus from Philadelphia. He was a physics teacher at the second oldest public high school in the country, Central High School. And this legacy of coaching and teaching just runs through the generations and straight into me. And I am so motivated to help coach and teach. And a lot of that was taught to me by my mother, Elaine Gretsch, who was an art teacher in inner city Philadelphia for 35 years. Yes, exactly like Abbott Elementary, teaching an underdog subject to underdog students. And my whole career, I have really tried to be a champion of the underdog so that you, the, the business owner, the small, uh, the, the, the underdog in the economy can transform your lives. And so the company that I founded, BizHack Academy, is all about providing businesses a simpler way to grow so you and your business can thrive. Not oversimplified, simpler. There's a lot of complexity in the world. We try to cut through the noise and give you just what you need to know to grow. Now, one of our partners is Jeff, and Jeff uh, is with Saltbox, a search engine marketing firm specializing in paid and organic. And he is uh, kind of a resident tech geek. He uses deep learning models and AI technologies for its clients. He's kind of a like resident white white guy. You know, more than three quarters of the um, technologists who work in AI are white men. So we wanted to make sure that they were represented. And that's Jeff. Um, and uh, he has a decade of experience in data, software development, search engine optimization, and online advertising. And you know. Jeff, you know, is kind of a, a nerdy, dorky guy. You know, he likes wearing hoodies. Uh, he has some acne in his 30s. But what we've used is mid-journey to help puff him up a little bit because this is Jeff on AI, and the man is unstoppable. And Jeff uh, actually wanted to, to share a, a quick story, a quick uh, message with us. Can you hear me? Can you hear it? So let's see if we can uh, hear it. Can you hear it? Okay, Nicole. It's pretty quiet. Okay. So um, I'll I'll um, play it just really quickly, uh, and then we will. Um, I, I'll skip playing it, but um, it, it's basically this video, uh, which I'll mute now. That's not Jeff, of course, but he created this video in under five minutes. And he used some really cool software to do it. Um, you can see uh, when you listen to it that the words and the mouth are not quite perfectly synced, but they're impressively so. He basically loaded a script and it created this video in minutes. So we're going to show you how to use that tool. And we'll share a link to this video so you can learn from Avatar Jeff uh, and hear from Avatar Jeff. And uh, now, without further uh, ado, I want to introduce uh, the amazing Nicole Donnelly. So she'll introduce herself. Okay. Um, I have, am a serial entrepreneur. I've had product and service businesses. I've had two consumer product businesses. The first one we were selling into 85 countries um, and throughout all Target stores and Nordstrom. So I'm very familiar with consumer products. I've had a marketing agency for 13 years. And um, because that was kind of my favorite part of the business, I really like where brands emotionally connect with the customers. And I'm a very um, customer experience focused marketer. And 
let's see what else I don't know I used to be a professional snowboarder so and I'm a lifelong athlete I've done a lot of triathlons ultra marathons all that fun stuff um and I have an 18 year old who's living in Costa Rica right now living at an animal rescue taking care of little babies so in our household, we have these spectrums. My husband's an iOS developer and my child is with animals living in the jungle and has no desire to do anything with AI. And in our household, it's like all we talk about and all we do every day, um, which is a lovely dichotomy because it keeps me grounded with, you know, probably a good half the world is, is going to be that way. Um, and so, you know, there's still, there's plenty of room for, for both sides in the future. And we need, we need both kinds of people. Absolutely. So Nicole, just really quick, what was your single biggest productivity win that you've achieved through using AI for marketing? I mean, for us, it's writing, it's writing blog posts, it's writing web copy, all the writing that we do. Um, we have saved so much time. That's where we've saved tens of thousands of dollars for sure. And, you know, if not more over the last couple of years, um, because projects that would take eight weeks are down to two weeks. And so we can quadruple our output at using the same team. And you run an AI-powered marketing agency. You've been really a pioneer, honestly, in providing AI-powered services. How do you use AI with your clients? Um, we have we do AI-assisted marketing strategies, and the marketing strategies um, AI helps us do research, competitor analysis, SEO um, analysis on the website. It does it does a lot of the research that we would manually have to do before. Um, and then also, so then after the research is done, then we have our source of truth, which I'll talk about in a bit, but we have our source of truth of information that we're going to share with our customers and send them on the path of here's all of the things that you need to create for your website and um, for your brand. We still spend, I'd say quite a bit of time on the, the soft side of branding um we we can save time with images but we do a lot of the copywriting for blogs rough drafts are always done um in jasper chat gpt love it and we're gonna get so much of nicole you're gonna get six more <laughs> sessions with her you know borrowing her best practices sharing her secrets so happy to have you part of this and so blessed uh you know this is a space uh where we see more men than women, and it's really great to have you as a co-pilot for this. Uh, thank you so much for all that you've done to make today and all the sessions great.